So Edward Watt talks about three things. Family, the tradition of excellence, and hard work. When you coach football and teach at the same school for 30 years, you belong to a big family. We've got a lot of family members here. Do you need a doctor? I got six or seven. Do you need an electrician? I had one working at the barn last week. Doesn't matter. Banker, plumber, lawyer, mover. Big shout out to big league movers. I am so grateful to be a part of such a big family of former players, students, teachers, and coaches. Two weeks ago, I attended a Wall Champions dinner at Western. They were honoring her in 1986. It was great to see our captain, Matt James, someone I really looked up to. He was an all Canadian linebacker, and he graduated from engineering. He designed the buildings in Vancouver that withstand earthquakes. I was so proud to tell him that Jacob Hesper was sending Kyle Simmons to Western a linebacker who's going to study engineering. You know what he did? He reached into his pocket and gave me his card. He said, you tell him, if he needs a job, call him. If he's thinking of quitting, call him. If he just needs someone to talk to, call him. That's what family does. And to be a part of Jacob Hesper family and community is something that I always treasure. Brenda wrote a song, Jacob is a football school. <laughs> Jacob's not a football school. As much as I love the song, Jacob's a great school that happens to have a good football program. And as a family, we need to realize that that's not a football field out back, but a sports field. Just like the weight room is a place, just like the weight room up there is a place for grade nine girls to feel welcome and confident to train. So in creating culture of family, I'm counting on Ella Mason, Chase Judge, April McDonald, Quentin Springer, to mentor younger athletes to do the right thing. The New York Yankees, Montreal Canadiens, Manchester United, New England Patriots, Los Angeles Lakers, and the New Zealand All Blacks. Love them or hate them, they all have a tradition of excellence and winning. In the early to mid-90s, Jacob Hesper was a young school that lacked tradition in winning. When you read the newspaper, people did that back then. In fact, Mark Paddock used to read it in class. You would find Jacob Hesper at the bottom of the stands. I can remember a board superintendent at a Wixom meeting referring to us as St. Jacob's. They couldn't even get the name correct. There were times when I wish I was there were times when I wished I was at a school with more tradition. But as Lou Holtz would say, when you have a problem, you have two choices. Live with it or fix it. How do you create a tradition of excellence? You hire great teachers and coaches. Something Ms. Cathcart understands and supports. You create record boards in the weight room that athletes strive to achieve. You recognize, athlete, athlete, sorry, you recognize athletes' achievements like we do on the walls in our gym and the format of this banquet tonight. Not every school has a banquet like this. In fact, this might be a great time to recognize our junior boys who won Officer Gold, Kelsey Wilson, Giovante Aguiar, Jason Reduce, and Chase Judge. Please give another hand. Officer Gold. But you know what else you need to do? You need to remain humble. The New Zealand All Blacks have a rule that only the captains and the very best players can sweep the dressing room floor. We need to support one another. Some of my fondest memories was when Jacob Hester athletes would show up at championship games to support other teams and then clean the bleachers when we were done. From failing hands, we pass the torch. Remember and respect those that come before you and set the standard high for those that are coming behind you. Membership in this club is not easy. Greg Marshall, and I didn't know he was speaking tonight, a great football coach and mentor for me. I got in my notes, said in this very gym, I thought we were going to be in the gym. He said in the West Gym at one of our power fit days, as an athlete, you can't control how much talent you're given, but you can control how hard you work. It drives me nuts when adults say, kids today don't work hard anymore. They've never seen a Jacob Hesper sports team practice or a perfect class workout. As an athlete, 
If you're not happy with your spot on the depth chart, before you complain to your parents or the coach about playing time, ask yourself, am I working as hard as I possibly can? Am I putting in maximum effort into my studies? When you go to a party, you say no to putting substances in your body that will prevent you from achieving your potential. Do you work hard to create a positive team culture? More importantly, do you speak up when a teammate's actions or words don't support Jacob Husband's values? If you work harder than anyone else, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy the results. It's called the joy of effort. Thanks for 30 great years, Jacob Husband. I've loved every second. I miss you more than you guys know. Cheers, bro.